Hi, I'm Salvatore Totino. I'm a cinematographer. I'm here at Camera Mars this year uh, as a main jury member, the main feature category, as well as my TV show, The Offer, got a nomination in the TV series. Look, we want to make a movie. This can become a cultural phenomenon, the likes we've never seen before. Well, then we better get started. I know how to make this film. It's a metaphor for the American dream. This is not just some gangster film. It makes us look like a joke, and that's bad for business. This is a story about family. It's my first ever. I've never done a TV series. It was a limited series for Paramount Plus. It's called The Offer, and it's based on Al Ruddy, the producer who produced The Godfather, and what he went through to actually make The Godfather. So really interesting, and um, Al, Al is still alive today, so a lot of what's in the series um, happened, according to Al. It's Bob Evans, who's the you know, big producer at, at Paramount, and he gives Al Ruddy the Godfather to put together. And, you know, it's getting Mario Puzo together with Francis Ford Coppola and writing the script and what they went through for that. And then, you know, having to go to New York and trying to get New York uh, permits to film in New York, especially a story about the mafia when New York was very heavily mafia influenced at the time. And Al Ruddy wound up befriending Joe Colombo. And that's how, you know, you know, through a series of bribes and stuff, that's how they got permits and uh, to be able to film in New York. The lighting, I kind of, I wanted to give it its own identity. And I wanted to be really conscious of the identity that, you know, a lot of people, like, when I first signed on to it, they're like, oh, you're gonna make it look like The Godfather? It's like, we're not reproducing The Godfather here. There's a whole different story that needs to have its own identity to be able to live you know, in, in its own life. Um, so my biggest challenge on the offer was, we were shooting everything in Los Angeles. So making New York for Los Angeles and trying to give it a little different different type of look, you know, and sort of keeping it a little bit cooler and a little more uh, shadow and contrasty where Los Angeles is more, uh, seven, as they say, 72 and sunny. Uh, this is bright and warm all the time. Well, you know, it's just like creating shadows in places and trying to, 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 you know, get a little bit more blue light into the shadows and not go as warm with the sunlight and just kind of feel like what the canyons feel like in New York City. We had to do, we were shooting on uh, the back lot at Universal and we are doing a scene for like Midtown Manhattan, you know, in the 70s with the, you know, taxi moving up and, you know, trying to block things with buses and putting green screens in places so they could change buildings and, you know, do all that. And, uh, yeah, I was being very particular about some of that. There's a the scene outside of um, Carlo Gambino Social Club. The <coughs> storefront that we were um, creating in a, on the back lot, right next to it was an alleyway. And then, you know, 20 feet from that was an, an intersection for a street. Well, that was, that's not like that on Mulberry Street. It's just all tenement buildings. So, you know, I, I was done with the production design. I'm like, look, you know, gotta put, we gotta put a storefront up here. And it's like, well, I don't know if I have the money for that. So like visual effects, we gotta put a green screen here. And then, we, you know, we were able to put up a, you know, a storefront and then the street <clears throat> intersection, I was able to get, uh, you know, a green screen there and another screen, green screen way back so that we can create that street in New York City give it that depth and make you feel like you were there. And it's, it's simple just to point anything straight in front of a building. And it, you know, it tells a story, but how deep does it tell that story? Right. You know? And that's what we, like, we look at in the jury, is like, how deep does the cinematography help tell that story? You know, as a jury, we kind of came up with a baseline, and then within yourself, you have a, a bunch of other checklists. Um, so, you have to kind of remind yourself that we're judging cinematography and we're not judging a film, a director, or acting, or any of that part of it. So it's really, sometimes it's hard because you've got to remove some of that, that aspect of it. You know, it's exciting that way because, you know, we, we have these, you know, parameters on us and it's really against our nature. 
You know, we're really, as cinematographers, you're really curious. You want to know how things are done, how things are made, how, you know, you want to dissect, um, you know, you want to um, de-engineer something. You know, we do that all the time. Every time we create our own projects, it's just purely looking at a project and, you know, letting it transcend you and, and be, you know, being relaxed about that and, and letting that whole thing just take you someplace. Like, like, like you do when you watch a movie, but just in sense of the cinematography. So it's, you know, it's, it's only that, that level of the multi-level of a feature film. That's movie magic, baby.